This is Old Rosie, a 55 foot cruiser stern narrow boat. She was built in 2016 by Nick Thorpe and fitted out by the original owner. Nick Thorpe's up in Stafford. She's only uh, two years old. She's reverse style, so you enter the galley from the stern in the bedrooms at the front of the boat. She's in nice condition as you'd expect for a two year old boat. Lovely sized well deck there. That's just short of six feet long. The 450 litre water tanks underneath. There's a little storage locker right up in the front of the bows. Portholes through the most, most of the boat. They all open and in the kitchen there's a couple of slider opening windows. The engine's under there, that's a canal line 42 four cylinder. Nice and clean in there. And a good sized stern deck, seven feet long, so a nice social space. The gas is housed in that locker there you can see on the port side. There's only one 13 kilo bottle in there but room for two. And down we go into the boat. Headroom six foot three. She feels nice and light and airy with a painted ply above the gunnels. The worktops are oak. The floor is oak. There's one of the slider windows I mentioned. The oven and grills are belling, and there's a four burner gas hob, and the fridge here is 230 volt in the sit with an ice box. Very practical breakfast bar. Wine rack to the left of it. And on the opposite side, we've got plenty of workspace and plenty of storage. Sort of soft closing these drawers and cupboards. Two huge drawers here. And a beautiful Belfast sink. Another slider window over the sink, that's very good for ventilation. Next to that is the full-size washing machine, that's a Beko. <coughs> Excuse me, and a good-size storage cupboard there with shelves next to it. Over that is the cupboard with the fuse panels in, and there's the inverter, that's 3 kilowatt. Very neatly arranged in there. There's one drawer under these steps, and a little cupboard to the left of it. There's one of four radiators on board there, fired by the Eberspacher diesel fired system. And here's something you've rarely seen a boat, a, a skylight, five foot long by four feet wide. Makes the room very light and airy. And on into the saloon. The galley by the way was 13 feet long and the saloon's just under nine. Lots of room in here for a sofa bed if you wanted to put one in. It's a solid fuel stove and some cupboards under the television here. The boat is wired for solar panels and satellite. They haven't been installed, but the wiring's there. That's a 20-inch flat-screen television. Down the corridor on the port side, a lovely side hatch there with beautifully glazed inner panels, actually. There's a photograph of those on the brochure. And into the bathroom, lovely radiator there. The loser pump-out macerator, lovely shower. Lots of room in here. The, the bathroom's 8 feet 2 inches long. Huge for an narrowboat. Lovely quadrant shower. And the basin's ceramic. That door has glazed panels as well. It's a sliding door into the bathroom. On into the bedroom. Nine feet five inches long. The bed itself is six, three, six feet long by three inches. Sorry, six feet three inches long by four feet. Tongue twisted this morning with six good sized drawers underneath. Portholes in here, they all open. Another radiator. The storage under both of those steps and a little cupboard to the left of it. And at the foot of the bed here is a very large double wardrobe with some drawers underneath. The ceiling in the boat is oak tongue and groove. And it's a nice fit out. There's the well deck. I mentioned very good size, good social space. Very secure doors, solid steel going out. 
another walk back through the boat. The lighting on board is all LED. Four domestic batteries, 115 amps and one starter. And a lovely boat at 55 feet, she feels more spacious than that. As I say, you don't see those skylights very often. So out we go, onto the stern deck. Lovely day here, lovely boat. Here's the view from the helmsman's position. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.